Good evening, everybody. This is Cindy Clark from PACB TV, and I am here on this beautiful night at Mercer Park in the village of Baldwinsville. And I am here tonight with uh, Boy Scout Troop number 71, who are going to paint or almost done painting the gazebo that we're standing in now. And we're going to give you a little background how all this came about. With me today, I have Chris Van Cor, who is the troop leader. I have Chuck McAuliffe, who is the highway superintendent, supervisor of the village of Baldwinsville, and we have Mayor Clark over there. And we'll start with you, Chris. How you doing? Thanks. I'm great. I appreciate it. I'm great. How'd this all get started? Well, through conversations with one of our scout dads in the troop, uh, who is also a um, village employee, works with Chuck. Uh, just the boys are always hunting for different. Uh, Boy Scout projects, for, uh, specifically Eagle projects. Uh, if it's not suitable to be an Eagle project, then we uh, are always looking for uh, different community service projects. Um, in talking with Chuck and going back and forth, there's a possibility of turning this into an Eagle project that morphed into just community service. So wow. last week, um, Chuck and Dan Weir put the uh, the material list together and got the boys together and we got over here and just went to town on painting this place up and so far so good we just have another hour or two left to kind of touch it up and do what the boys can do before we hand it over to the adults with the bucket truck to get the higher points well that's a very nice uh, service to the community i see that that they're starting here they're ready to roll they've got the rollers now where did you get where do you get the paint well, my understanding is uh, to the Kiwanis Club, correct? Well, right. We, well, we were, the village were originally paid for it. Uh, I was in contact with um, some members from the Kiwanis, and they seem real excited about it, and they want to help pay for the paint and the brushes and everything. They had a meeting tonight, and they're supposed to get back to us. So hopefully that'll work out. Oh, that's good. That is great. Uh, Mayor Clark? Yes, sir. Now, you have been around here long enough. You know there's a lot of projects. I know there's a lot of projects that the Boy Scouts do. I'm not familiar with all of them. But what do you think as far as for what it does to the community and brings the community together here having these kids do this stuff? I, I think it's terrific because so many times young people get bad raps, you know, oh, the kids are bad. Not these kids. These kids are helping the village. They're, they're making, you know, a, a part of the village better, uh, which I'm sure is a scout motto to make you, where you live a better place to live. Um, Many projects over the years, the one I think of off the top of my head is right in front of the Village Hall by the yeah. police station, recognizing first responders. Uh, but there's been many others um, that kids will come to us for an Eagle project. We turn it over to the DPW, what do you need done? Uh, you know, it's not a case that we couldn't get it done, but financially sometimes it's, you'd be surprised the, the difference it makes because we have a list. I mean, Chuck could tell you, He's got lists of things, and they, you know, they're they're checking them off. But you know, it's a short short summer around Central New York, and if you can get a group like the Scouts to come in, um, it serves a lot of purposes. It gets, helps us get a project done. It it highlights the Scouts to the community. It gives the kids feeling like they're part of the community. Uh, so I mean, it's a win-win for it everybody. Is, everybody is that much more proud of our wonderful community we have here. Now, Chuck, what are some of the, do you recall, or either one of you recall some of the, in addition to this project and the one down in front of the Village Hall, some of the other projects that the kids have been involved with? There's, there's been a few of them. There's one down at Community Park, um, the, the, the sign down there they made. There was one in front of, um, oh, the park over there on McCary Street, uh, the schoolhouse. But uh, this, this one here, and I just want to say real quickly, uh, Danny Weir is one of our foremen up there. He, he belongs to the, or he's, he's one of the fathers mm -hmm. for the group, and, and he knew Chris, and, and when Chris asked me about this, anything this guy in, in, has anything to do with him, his wife, Danielle, it's just fantastic. And when we talked about this project, this is really a big project, and, and uh, he told me early on he may be able to get this done, and they, and they clearly did. Last week I stopped down under his direction and some of the other fathers. It was just phenomenal to see what they were doing with the scouts. Traditionally, every day, we deal with graffiti. You know, mm -hmm. you look at the River Bridge. It's yes, a mess every day. I know. And these kids are just making this place so much better. And as, when I came down last um, last last uh, Monday night and saw them all working, and they're doing a, they're just doing a great job. And we have people like Danny and Chris and his wife Danielle, and that's that's working with the kids, and it's just, it's phenomenal. And, and it's just it's a, such a great project. 
And, uh, and one thing I didn't realize on uh, Palmer Ave, they have their trailer. Everybody seems to see the trailer down there with the uh, cans on it. Mm -hmm. I never knew what it was, but that's what they used to do a lot of their projects with the fun, kids. Is that, and is that fundraising a, with all it, the cans? Okay. It is. It okay. is. Uh, and the community has been very good to us. Um, we use the money to pay for our, our uh, scout camp out in the summer. We use it for... Um, well, you name it. If anything we're doing involves any expense, that that works out great for us to have that as a resource from the community. Uh, in addition, we don't even use all of the money. We actually give back uh, a good percentage of it to uh, local organizations like the food pantry, for example, off the top of my head. Um, and occasionally, I think, you know what? What was the one with the uh, the dog? The uh, um, the dogs for the G, uh, the uh, soldiers there. Um, the wounded warrior. Yeah, warrior? Okay. yeah, yeah. So okay. um, we had one of the folks from that organization come speak to the boys last year, and then afterwards we wrote them a check, and we wanted to see their their organization grow, and we used our resources to help them. So anytime we have the opportunity to do that for other organizations, yeah, yeah, yep, yep. There's no sense in us holding on to everything. We want to make sure that we're giving the boys a, a good um, example of responsibility and. Um, and teach them what generosity is in the community. So um, just cultivating the excitement on these boys when they're down here working on these different projects is, uh, is fantastic. Um, we, we take every opportunity we can to teach, but teaching through fun is much easier than in teaching through it sure uh, is. hard lessons. So, <laughs> yes, yep. it is. So we have, we have good success with the kids. We have a good group of boys and parents. Well, there seems to be a lot of them here tonight. And I got to tell you, I think this, is, this, this warms my heart to see this. Because like Chuck was talking, a lot of times they deal a lot with the graffiti and you know, littering and all of that all around the community. But when you, you see a bunch of uh, young kids being taught and, and responding and doing this for the community, their love of the community, you know, their love for each other and, 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 the, and this Boy Scouts, it doesn't get any better than that. Gentlemen, thank you so much. I appreciate this. And our community thanks you. And we're gonna, and don't forget the, um, the, the bottle drive uh, trailer they have down on Palmer Lane too, because they, they use that a lot for their funding. So if you have extra cans and bottles, bring them on down. And thank you everybody. Thank you. I appreciate everybody being here, all the kids. It's a wonderful thing, and you take care. Thank you. Thank you.